at the door. I'm like, I'm what the, I said, what the, I said, what the, I said, who, I said, who's that? She said, oh, no, 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 I think my husband's back. A gun. He has a gun in his hand, pointing it at me. He's pointing the gun at me. Oh yeah, that light Look at is some. Um, hold on. <laughs> Wait, yeah, screenshot me. <laughs> yeah, screenshot me. Tag no, me no, no, no. <laughs> we got fan page, you know what I'm saying? Exclusive stuff for your fan page. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes. What's going on to the Orange Squad? It is your boy Roddy J Johnson or Roddy J, whatever you like to call me. And today I got a crazy story time on how I almost did it with my teacher and it turned crazy. I'm talking about crazy. Go crazy! Before I even jump into this crazy story time video, I need you guys to go down below right now. Right now, hit the like button. You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero. If you haven't liked the video yet, you're just you're just gonna be fake, man. You're just gonna be fake. And if you're not a part of the RJ Squad yet, go down below hit the subscribe, but make sure you guys do hit that bell because the RJ Squad, y'all know we be cooking. I said, if you're part of the RJ Squad, comment down below that we be cooking. And also, a lot of you guys have been asking me why have I been using these emojis so much. That's because those are the official emojis for the RJ Squad. So instead of commenting RJ Squad or we be cooking, you always can comment these two emojis, the chef emoji and the lightning strike emoji. Cause I just love those emojis. If you look at my new banner, you guys will actually see them on my new banner. And so I said 1500 likes for the story time. You guys broke 1500 likes. So, oh crap, I almost forgot. <laughs> The comments of the day to go to two people right here. If you guys want me to do is comment something down below. It could be anything down below, and you guys could be in the comments of the next video. Also, I do got some merch. Make sure you guys go check out the links will be down below in the description. Okay, and like one more final last thing. I need you guys' help right now. Like, I really need you guys' help. So I'm this close from getting verified on Instagram with only 16k. I was talking to somebody from Instagram, and they said that you need about like at least 20 to 25 thousand followers to get verified. So I need everybody right now watching this video to. Go right now and follow me on Instagram at the Rodney J Johnson. Please go do that if you're watching this video. Like, even stop watching this video and go follow me right now if you're watching this video. And if you don't follow me, look, you're just you're just gonna be fake. You're just gonna be fake. Without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the story time video. And yeah, it, it gets wild. So just watch the whole thing. Get your popcorn, your snacks, chill, relax, and listen to the entire story. As you guys know, well, let's just let me just start. Let me just start from the jump. As you guys know, so about like maybe a week ago or so, I did a video about asking out my teacher. Now, in that video, I didn't really ask her out. I was just texting her again, like kind of a part two to seeing what she was like up to. And in that video, she ended up sending me like a, a crazy booty pig, okay? A crazy booty pig. It wasn't like a booty pig. It was like her back and she's laying down with no bra on. It was crazy. And she said that her husband was not going to be home for about a week. And so she sent me that and I ended up going to her house right after I did that video. Oh. I'm good. I gotta go! I gotta go! And so honestly, I had no attention to even really go there and do anything. As you guys know, I always carry my Supreme bag. And in my Supreme bag, I always got Bruh. some kind all right, the reason why you guys probably asking me that is just because I always carry them on me because you never know, you know what I'm saying? So anytime I took my backpack anywhere, there's always a box of those, okay? Not because I be doing stuff every other day or any anywhere. You just you just never know what might happen, you know what I'm saying? So I always carry those on me. So I go over there in my head, I'm thinking like, is this really about to happen? I didn't really like had no attention. I just want to see what like see what she was up to. Now, so their neighborhood is like basically like the houses are spread out, okay? Like if a car is in front of your house, that car is at your house. It's not like across the street because houses are so spread apart right so i'm driving over there i'm like she's texting me still like are you coming she keeps sending me more pictures and i'm like yeah like i'm on my way i'm driving right now i sent her a snap of me driving over there and so in my head still i'm just like i'm actually going over to my teacher's house and i'm just like i pull up to the house i see one car one car so I'm pretty sure it's hers, and her husband had a car. He was gonna be gone for a week. And so I, I parked in the front, cause I had no clue. Like I didn't know nobody was even there. I didn't think nobody was there. So I get to the door, knock on the door. So someone opens the door, right? Someone opens the door, and I'm scared as hell, cause I don't know who it is. The opening is so slow. I'm like, maybe, what if I'm getting, what if I'm about to get held captive, or what if they, what if they about to like, keep me hostage or do something to me? I, I didn't even think about this. I'm thinking about what she's gonna do to me, or what's gonna happen. But she opens the door, and it's her. And believe it or not, she's in 
that the, the picture she sent me, she's in that, but she has like, but she has like the panties on, but she has like a, a like a, her husband's shirt on, but it was like a loose shirt, so, and it was like a white shirt, so you can see everything. And I'm like, I'm like, is this really about to happen? She's like, um, just go up there, go in the room, you can lay down. Netflix is already on, you know. I put some snacks in there, I got you some water in there, I got grade the rest of these papers, and I'm like, she, yeah, I, I went in there, I was like, hey, I'm, I'm getting a little comfortable, so I go in the room. I literally, I lay, I jump, I jump on the bed, I put my phone on the charger. I was like making myself at home. I put on uh, Netflix is already on. I'm watching Seven Pounds because that was a good movie. I don't know if you guys watched that, but I just saw that was the first thing I saw. I started watching that and I'm, I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down, laying down. I'm actually eating some snacks. I'm on Snapchat. Like literally, I'm just chilling, you know what I'm saying? And she comes in there, right? Checks on me and then she kisses me. She like, kisses me right here and then she starts trying to kiss my lips and I'm like, oh, calm down now. I didn't know you a little bit, but I didn't know your past. You know what I'm saying? You might have something. I don't know. You. I say, hey, calm down. Like, I don't even know your birthday. I don't even know your full name. You know what I'm saying? All I call you is Miss Thick, if anything, or teacher, and I don't even know her name. You know, so I'm not gonna say her name in this video because I don't want to expose her to like that. She's like, all right, let me go grade the rest of these. I'm almost done. She shows like this, like a stack this big that she's almost done. So about 45 minutes later, I'm basically almost passed out because like she took so long. It was a comfy bed, and she finally she knocks on the door. And I'm like, like, why you knock on the door? It's your house, it's your room. Why you, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, why you knock on the door? And she was like, just checking up on you. I didn't know if you was doing anything or not. And I said, no, I've just been chilling here. And so she lays down. I'm, I'm laying down like this, you know, chilling on the bed like that. And she like gets over me. So like now I'm looking at her like this and she's on me. And I'm like, what? I'm like, the fact that I got the juice, you know, I got the juice. I could text you and be able to come over and get something like that. It's that easy. <laughs> so she's laying on me like this, and I'm like, what's up? And I said, she's like, what's up? And so I was like, can I get to know you before we even do anything, hop into anything? And she's like, yeah. So she's like, my name is blah, blah, blah. And she told me what school she went to, what she graduated from, what she majored in. Obviously, I know what she majored in and all that stuff. So she just texts, you know, she's telling me all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's nice, that's nice. She's like, she's like, what do you do? She does not know I do YouTube, okay? The reason being is she knows I do YouTube, she probably would have seen the videos and she... None of this would have happened. So if she ends up seeing this, then she ends up seeing it now because I've already been over there. You know, we keep talking, we talking, and then she's like, you want to put on Netflix? Just put on Netflix again, and we can just lay down for a little bit and keep talking. So we keep talking for a little bit, and I'm like, all right, cool, cool little vibe. And she was like, yeah, do you want to stay here for a week or a couple days? And I'm like, I could tell, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, sure, I guess, why not? You know what I'm saying? So, and so like a little sad part comes on from, if you guys have never watched Seven Pounds, it's a sad movie. So she's like, I'm like this, she's laying right here. She's cuddled up on me. Her leg, keep in mind, like I said, She's in her panties still. There's a thong going actually. She puts her leg like over me and I'm like I'm like oh my god and uh, so she gets closer and closer and her hand like it's like right here Starts going here and I'm like oh uh, she, she every like 30 seconds She keeps going down and down and down and I'm like she's really trying to get some I like, really and so I, I asked her I was like so were you serious like you never have had that in a while and she was like yes Like I haven't had something like in a long time because my husband is just like he's getting to the point where he can't get it up And I'm like oh! I started laughing but I was like a little like depressed for him because he was like I think 30 or 35 and I'm like he can't get it up You know what I'm saying if you guys know what that means he, he can't get one on he, he can't get hard He can't get a boner okay I had to just say it and I'm just, and I'm just like that's sad and depressing She's like yeah it's been about almost a week almost two weeks and I'm like damn like it's been it's been that long She's like yeah it's been that long and so she was like so she was like so are you ready? She puts her hands down there her hands are like in my pants She's touching my stuff right now and you know what I'm saying I'm like I'm chilling, laying back, and she gets up on top of me again and starts, you know, she kisses me here, kisses me here. Next thing you know, like, I didn't want to kiss, I, I never want to kiss a random person on the lips. I, I ne not random, she basically is random, basically, so I told her, I said, I don't kiss somebody on the, on the lips, because I don't know what you got. You could have some herpes, something, you could be lying to me. She's like, I swear I don't. I'll tell you all this now, if you're doing it with a girl or a guy, make sure, check, check, to see you ask them. You know what I'm saying? And they still might lie. Still be cautious, cause once you once you get something like that, it's hard to get rid of, as y'all know. Sometimes you can't even, honestly, you probably can't even get rid of it. So I'm like, nah, I can't kiss you. I can't kiss you like on the lips. You can't give me no sloppy toppy, cause I still don't trust you. Like only thing we could do is have, you know, have sex, and that's about it, cause I'm gonna use protection. She's like, I'm fine with that. Her clothes is off. She throws her bra somehow. And look, the re um, the reason why you guys need to know this, her bra goes in the hall. The reason why guys are like, I'm telling you guys this, just keep that in mind that it's in the hall, okay? And I took my shoes off at the door, okay? Just keep that in mind. Throws it off. Now her bra is off. And like now I'm looking at basically her naked because she's a thong on. And takes the thong off. So she's naked on me. She's naked on top of me. She's like, take it off my shirt. My shirt comes off. She starts kissing me like here and here. 
kiss him, kiss him, kiss him, kiss him, kiss him. He gets like down there, but not. I told her, I said, don't put your mouth down there at all. And the condom is on, okay? The condom is on. As soon as it's like, it's about to like, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna say it. But y'all know, as soon as it's about to go like in, all you hear is, boo, 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 at the door. I'm like, I'm what the, I said, what the, I said, what the, I said, who, I said, who's that? She said, oh, no, 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 I think my husband's back. I'm like, husband, he's back? I think that he left. I think that he was not here for a week. She's like, he might have forgot something. And then next you hear is like the little, like, I don't have my keys. I hear is like, the keys, like, to the door. It's quiet right now. It's quiet. And you hear like, the little, the little keys going in the door. And I'm like, um, so I'm trying to get in. He's like, that's my, that's my husband, that's my husband. She looks out the window. There's an SUV. She's like, yeah, that's my, that's my husband. And I'm like, um, okay. He gets in the door. Okay, we're way upstairs. They, they had a big ass house. It was a big house. He gets, um, to the door. She's like, who is here? Whose shoes are this at the door? Remember I said that. And I'm like, oh shit. I said, my shoes are at the door. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, what the? I said, I said, what do we do? She's like, um, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I said, what do you mean? Oh, no, you need to start figuring something out. Like, <laughs> damn, I was choked. <laughs> it was chill. And she's like, um, she's like, uh, I, I don't know what to do. She's, she's like this and like this covering up. I'm like, can you figure something out? Like, we don't have that much time. He's walking up the stairs. No, he's looking downstairs. Looking downstairs to see nobody. He said, where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Whose car is that outside? I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, I'm like, this is really about to happen. I was like, what's happening? Like, I don't even know what to say right now. I, so I was like, I know, so she's being slow, she's being dumb. I'm like, okay, act like, act like you're tutoring me or something like that. Like, I, like you're teaching me something, something like that. She said, good idea, good idea. But I was like, we're in your room though. Like, if you was teaching me or tutoring me somewhere, why would we be in your room? Next you know, I hear footsteps come, coming up the stairs. He said, he said, I'm gonna say he said, blank, what the, who, why is your bra? I'm like, oh my God, your bra's in the hall. I'm like, yeah, we're done. We're caught. We're caught. Her dumb ass. Her dumb ass is gonna get up. I'll pick up the door. Honey, um, I'm in the shower. No showers on. No water's running. It's pure silent. She's peeking on the door like that. It's her husband. Why was she peeking on the door like that? Cause she's trying to hide me and I'm, I'm in the bed like. I'm like, here's the bed. And I'm like looking like on the corner of it like that. I'm like, this is some bullshit. He's like, no, y'all stay up here. Y'all stay up here. Runs down the stairs like runs up the stairs real quick. I said, I said, where is he going? I said, he has. She's like, she has. He has gun down, guns downstairs. I said, guns, guns. He has guns downstairs. Keep in mind, like I said, the houses are so far apart. You could have a party and the cops really won't show up because the houses are so far. You can't hear what's going on. So if he's to shoot somebody, you wanna do. You wanna hear it. You wanna hear it. So I'm like, damn. When I say guys, when I say. I was gonna make a snap saying goodbye to all you guys. Like I thought I was gonna die. I was gonna say, all right guys, all right, RJ squad. This be your boy Rodney. Like for real, like I swear, like I'm, I'm over here praying. I'm like, God, please don't let me die. Like, please don't let nothing happen. I'll never do this ever, ever again. I'm like, please, 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 please. He's just staying there, staying there. So I, like I said, I was gonna make a snap saying, all right guys, this be your boy Rodney. I'll never see y'all ever again. Screenshot this, record this, say this, post this on everything you possibly can. Like I was like really this close. Cause like I thought this dude was gonna like, probably like, like I thought it was gonna be over. Like it was gonna be over for me. Comes back up the stairs, he comes back up the stairs. All I hear is, so y'all got five seconds to get out. I said, get out. I said, close, I said, close the door, lock the door. She said, uh, uh. I'm like, I said, I said, fuck it. I get up, close the door, lock the door. I look out the window. There's no ledge. Like, it's the window to where it's straight ground. There's no way out the window. Only way out is the door. I'm like, well, do I jump out the window? Maybe have a chance of surviving, or do I just let him in and probably shoot me, do something like that? So then next he hears, boom. I'm like, shit. I'm like, this dude about to break in. He said, Y'all better open this door now. I'm like, I'm like, at this point, I just like, I don't know what I could do. I'm just like this. I'm just chilling. She's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, what do you, what, what do you mean, what's wrong with me? Like, I'm finna get shot. I'm finna die. And she, she, he won't do that. And the next I hear is, I'm finna kill you guys. He won't, he won't do that. <laughs> you just said, this man is furious. They've been together for like 20, uh, not 20 years, like five, 10 years. So I'm like, oh my God. Next thing you know, boom. He's in. I'm like, so I'm, gonna, I'm like, I'm like this. I'm like, she's naked like this. I, I don't know why you're covering up yourself. Like, I wasn't just looking at you and he doesn't know how you look. Like a little blanket. She has like a little blanket wrapped and she's like holding it like this. And he's just like a gun. He has a gun in his hand, pointing it at me. He's pointing the gun at 
at me. At this point, I'm technically held hostage. I'm held at gunpoint. He said, what are you doing here? I said, look. I said, bro, 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 la, 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 la. She told me to come over here. She said you was going to be gone for a week. She said she has had it in a while. And, hey, I came to, hey, change that up. I was just being, I, I was just being 100% to him. 100% honest to this man. And I'm, like I said, I'm being 100% honest to this man. I just like, um, I, I, I don't know what you want me to do. I don't want you to say, so I told him the honest truth. And he was like, is that true? Blank said her name. And I'm like, She's like, I'm like, I'm gonna be honest. She started getting fear. She started getting mad at him. You know, she started like trying to flip the script on him. It's like, you know what? These last couple of weeks, I haven't had none. You haven't been giving me what I want. I've been this close to leaving you, so I had somebody else do your job. And I'm just like looking at them argue, man, you this. I'm getting divorced. You, I'm gonna kill the dog. I'm gonna kill all the. I'm like, damn, don't don't kill the pet. Let the pets do. And they ain't do nothing to you. The dog's barking. I didn't know they even had a dog, so I heard it coming up the stairs. The dog like this, all right, like, what's going on? He, he's like, yeah, he just walked, I swear, he just walked down the stairs, he went back to what he was doing. They're arguing, they're arguing. I'm trying to sneak out the door. He said, nah, just pointed at me. He said, nah. I said, fuck. I'm like, fuck. My phone's on the charger over there, I can't call no cops. You know what I realized? Why didn't I call the cops when I was next to my phone? The thing was, she lived like 45 and one hour away, so cops are nowhere near to be found. So there was just no point of calling them. And I didn't, I was just like, I didn't know what to do at this point. He was like, you're not leaving, you're not leaving. And you're not leaving either, go in the bathroom. I'm like, go in the bathroom? I go in the bathroom, this man puts a chair on like the outside to where I can't even turn the knob. I'm in the bathroom and they're out there arguing. I'm just like, I'm looking in the mirror like this. I'm in the mirror like this. I'm just looking in the mirror like, I'm over here praying. I said, God, please let me get this situation. I'll never do this ever again in my life. I swear to God. I'm saying, I, I, I promise. Like, I was just like, I'll never do this ever again. And then, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I hear them yelling and screaming. I know where it just gets dead silent. Like, I hear like a, like a big boom. Like a big boom. I'm like, what the, like a ding. Like a, like, like a pot got hit on someone's head or something like that. So I moves my chair. I'm like, <sighs> my heart, my heart's like, I'm like, oh, I'm next. I'm like, someone's got hit in the head. It's her. She said, go, go, go. I look on the floor, this man is knocked out. I look behind him, it's her brother. I'm like, who is this? It's my brother, just go, go home, I'll text you later. Text me later, I'm blocking you. I was like, yeah, all right, all right. Um, I go downstairs, get my shoes on, I run outside. I get in my car and I'm gone. I took off, I took off, I took off. Now I didn't block her. The reason I didn't block her that I, she's blocked now. She's blocked now. I didn't um block her then because I wanted to see what's going on. So she, I give her my number. She calls me. She said, "Yeah, my brother came in here with the pot, and I'm moving out, and I'm getting out of here." I got honestly, I've been wanting to get a divorce with him the entire time, and so that just helped me get my divorce. Long story short, I was held at gunpoint. I honestly thought I was really gonna die. He got hit in the head with a pot, and it was like the worst mistake of my life. Like it was the worst mistake I've ever kind of thought of. And then I was like, "Dang, that, that's tough." She said, "Yeah, I'm moving out," and then. She had the audacity to say, do you want to come to my brother's house? I'm here alone. Meh. Meh. He just actually come to your house? Your brother's house after what just happened? Like, she's like, yeah, I already moved most of my stuff already over here. So we could finish what we started. I said, what? I said, do me a favor. She said, what? And then I just blocked her. And that was the end of that. Came home. And that was that. She's been trying to add me on other accounts. Talking about, Rodney, Rodney, I'm sorry for what happened. I'm so sorry for what happened. Just come on, let me talk to you. We don't gotta do nothing. I don't wanna do nothing. I wanna talk to you. I don't wanna text you. Any of that stuff. If you end up ever seeing this video, if you end up just seeing this video and know that I blocked you now, I'll never message you ever, ever again. And yeah, man, that is the end of this crazy story time. I swear, I, I promise you guys, try to record like, like for this, for this reason, for this story time, so I can show you guys this. But it was just, it, I was in the moment. I was in the moment, like, like, and I thought I was gonna die. I really thought like, I was gonna die. I was like, I haven't lived my life yet. I haven't had the, had the chance to even have a kid. Even think about having a kid. Even travel the world with my girl. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm never doing this ever again. I'm never going to no random girl's house or teacher's house or whatever. And yeah, it's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great that I made it out. So hope you guys enjoyed the story time video. If you guys make sure to go down below right now. Leave a like and leave the subscribe button. If you're new, join the RJ squad. Because y'all know. We be cooking, man. It's your boy, Roger Johnson. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.